Hello everyone, my name is Vipul and in this video we are going to talk about SQL transformation. So how does a SQL transformation work in Informatica? SQL transformation is meant for writing a specific SQL query inside the mapping in an Informatica. So the same task that we can do using a joiner transformation or an expression transformation, those certain kind of tasks which we are, uh, can do using those uh, specific transformations can also be done using SQL transformation. If we write us, if we want to write a SQL query instead of uh, using the joiner transformation or any other transformation. Also then SQL transformation, uh, inside the uh, SQL transformation, we can use the DDL statements for like creating a table, we can delete a table, you know, so inserting the data in the table uh, and updating the data, the DML statements and of course can be used. So uh, let's see how it works. Uh, let's take a quick example here for uh, a few tables that we have. Now this is one of the table VM. Here we have uh, all the columns from MP number till department number. Okay, we have number, name, job, manager, hire date, salary, commission and department number. Now the data of all these columns, the data of this table, we would like to load it into VM target one. So here we have number, name, job, manager, hire date, salary, commission, department number. Until this column, we have all columns same as VM. Whereas the rest of these three columns, serial number, department name and department location is something that we don't have in VM. Okay. So uh, these uh, last three columns, that is serial number, department name and location, we would like to bring from V department table because department name and location is present here. Serial number is of course not here. Serial number we can leave it as it is. That's not a problem. It's an available column. So uh, the rest of the two columns, the name and uh, the location will try to bring from department table whereas rest of the columns we will load directly from VM. So let's see how it works. In Informatica, first of all, we have to create a new mapping as usual. M underscore M source underscore SQL let's say and uh, then we are going to import our sources and we are going to import our target that is target one Now between the source and target, we try to create a SQL transformation. PRN and source SQL. Here we have two different modes. One is query mode and script mode. Query mode is used when we are writing a query inside the transformation itself, whereas script mode is used when we are writing a script and giving to Informatica. Okay, we have static dynamic connection. We are going to use static connection here for now. DB type will remain Oracle because we are connecting to Oracle database. So this is all good. Let's click done and then we just import, bring in all the columns here in this SQL transformation from the source. Now we double click and we go on SQL ports. Inside SQL ports, here we have three sections. One is SQL inputs, which has all the columns of the uh, you know that are coming from the source and then we have another section called as SQL outputs okay so now in this SQL output we are going to create two new ports so uh, we have in the inputs we have all the columns till department number whereas if you look at the target here in the target we have these two department name and location that we want the data to be inserted in so in the output, we will create department name, give it a data type, parquet, let's say, and department location. Again, the data type, parquet2, and we have to define the native type for rest of the inputs as well. Because here, the data type, although is coming from the source, but in SQL transformation, we still have to define a native uh, type. Job is a uh, varchar. Okay, let's 
That's a var pair. We'll define a var pair. Manager again is a number, I suppose. Manager is a number, yes. And our date will be just a date. Salary, we can put number pairs and same for commission and department number as a number. That's it. So we just apply and now this is the place where we actually write the SQL query. So what will be our query? We will just try to select department name that is D name comma log from location from V underscore DEPT. Right? Because these are the names of the columns D, D name uh, and the log in the department table. This is our department table, D, D name and location. So D name and location we are selecting from V underscore department and we are saying where department number is equal to here we have to provide a parameter binding. We say that select de department name comma location from V department where department number is equal to department number of the source. The department number now this question mark department number question mark is nothing but a parameter binding which actually means the port department number of the SQL transformation. Okay, and what this department number uh, port of SQL transformation from where the data is coming? It's coming from the employee source, the source table. So in other words, we are saying in this SQL uh, query, we are saying select department name comma location from V underscore department where department table dot department number is equal to employee table dot department number it's like a sql join that we have made query uh, the the table join we have made using the sql query okay we just say okay now we apply it we say okay and we uh, try to save it it's all good now we go here we create a new workflow we say wf underscore m source underscore SQL All right and we oh it's already there it's just one problem and then we create a new task source underscore and source underscore SQL say one here and then we connect our mapping uh okay let's look it's m source underscore sql1 which is this one suppose ah somehow it's uh appearing to be invalid because we haven't really connected the output ports to the target let's do that quickly and make it valid uh bring it down and more number till location we want to connect it to the target just take care of serial number let's remove this because it's not really significant to us at this moment so we are going to use name and location for the last two columns of the target serial number is not a problem it's a nullable column anyways in the target so now it's all good let's fill it uh, let's cancel it again create and let's see yeah now it's become valid employee source underscore sql1 that's done you can join it and uh, uh, yeah and then we give the connection parameters that is for the target we give oracle target for the source we can give oracle source and this transformation we have to mention what kind it is relational and we can give either source or target doesn't matter now once done we just apply everything save the transformation and start the workflow okay it succeeded let's go in the target one table 
and see yes the data has come and there's a lot of data of course now it has become total 30 rows because we did not uh, use the truncate table option that is something we forgot so let's do it quickly again if you want we can go in this session object go in the mappings and go in the target here we can uncheck this update and we can uncheck the delete and uh, select this truncate table option this is going to truncate the table before the load happens okay so this is saved now we start the workflow again it's in a running state and it succeeded now let's go there refresh yes now the, those are the 15 rows that has got um, you know been fetched from employee table and loaded into the target one table whereas these two columns department name and department location have got fetched from department table and loaded over here so this is how sql transformation works in informatica thank you